all differences are illusions. What is real is the unbroken, seamless plenum of being. And, and this is what we need to learn because our whole social construct has been based on the establishment and maintenance of boundaries. I mean, we are the most boundary-obsessed human society that has ever existed. Uh, you know, when I go to the Amazon and spend time with the upriver people, the hardest thing for me to get used to is that I never have any privacy, ever. You know, I hang my hammock in the longhouse, and, you know, people are fighting and giving birth and having sex and arguing and doing all these things. And even when you, e even the act of defecation is not necessarily private. So, uh, boundary dissolution and boundary maintenance is what really, uh, anxiety about these things is what characterizes our society. I mean, our world is getting uglier and meaner and more mean-spirited by the moment because those who have are so anxious about the fact that they might be asked to share it. I mean, what we've gone through in the last 12 years in this country is a tremendous transfer of wealth to the upper 2% of society and concomitantly a tremendous spread of anxiety, alienation, and uh, a dehumanizing of the entire social enterprise. I mean, if we don't get hold of ourselves, uh, the next century most of the world is going to be a toxic desert and then here and there there will be very well defended pleasure domes in which a very small number of incredibly wealthy people will live out lives of utterly self-indulgent hedonistic fantasy in denial of the moral catastrophe that they participated in in order to achieve that hedonic uh, state of isolation. I mean, that's clearly happening. It, metaphorically, that's what we have already. I mean, not to freak you out, but that's where we're sitting right now, you know? I mean, compared to Bosnia and Haiti and Somalia. What we have to do is teach people to care for each other as a primary value, not something you do after you know, you pay for your Mercedes and all that. But as the primary value, we have to have community. It's very simple. We don't have community. We have a, a free-for-all where the devil takes the hindmost, the most brutal and ruthless among us rise to the top, and everybody else uh, uh, has a foot on their neck. Uh, we, we are now in a hell of a fix because we've waited so long to address these problems. Uh, there is not now enough gold, aluminum, uh, iron, so forth, in the planet to raise everyone to a middle-class standard as it's enjoyed in Southern California. And yet we have unleashed these expectations in everyone by flagellating people with uh, images of material wealth and comfort. We must re-empower the individual and the quality of individual experience. In other words, you have to convince somebody that you are a richer person on five grams of psilocybin than you are if you live in a five million dollar house and are spending fifty thousand dollars a year on psychotherapy because you're miserable, you see. Uh, we have allowed ourselves to be tremendously disempowered by allowing our values to shift toward the material domain. You can't take it with you, folks, uh, but the soul is the vehicle that you do take with you into whatever dimensions of continuity exist beyond this mortal coil. So instead of balancing uh, uh, and replacing the tires on your Porsche, you should be balancing and replacing the tires on your after-death vehicle. After all, uh, that's the one that's going to have to serve you well in the clinches, you see.